Welcome to Survival on a Budget Made Easy. In this video, I'm going to be talking about a budget-friendly alternative to your Fitbit design. It's also old school and work without a cell phone or any of these high-tech devices. If you want to know more about it, I'll be right back. Okay, this is the Box Me Fitness Tracker Watch Simple Operation. I got it off of Amazon for $9.99. I'll have a link down to it in the description box. But I have like an old school phone and of course the Fitbits won't work with it. And I tried to get a Fitbit and hook it up to my Kindle and that one not work. So I got this as an alternative to see how it would actually work. I'm going to wear it for a week. Then get back to you and let you know how it's held up. It's supposed to be waterproof and everything. But I'm going to bring it in closer and we're going to go ahead and program it. Okay, it's pretty easy to set up. You have your mode button and your set button. To set the time, you just hold the set button in. And you just cycle through 12 hours, hour, minute. The mode button will set it for you. Next one. Is, or does it tell you how many steps to reset it? You press zero. Next mode is the miles. Next mode is calories burnt. So it's pretty simple. Two simple buttons. I'm going to go ahead and wear it a week. And I'm going to get back to you on how it did. Okay, I've been wearing this for about a week now. And uh, I did find out that it's not waterproof. I thought it was supposed to be, but it wasn't. So I'm going to take off half a star for that. Um, I did an accuracy test with it. I took the car out and paced off a tenth of a mile. The first time I counted 245 steps, it counted 241 steps. The second time I counted 241 steps, it counted 242 steps. The third time I counted 246 steps, it counted 247. But all three times it came up 0 0.09 of a mile. Okay, it was a little bit off the tenth of a mile, but that could have been the way I measured it. But all in all, it was pretty accurate and stayed pretty solid. Now I suggest that you wear the watch with the set button down towards your fingers. Okay, so if you want to switch wrist, you're going to have to take it out and flip it over, put it back in, which is no big deal. But all in all, I'm pretty well pleased with it. It works well. It keeps good time. Um, it seems pretty accurate with its measurements. So if you're looking for something cheap, an alternative so you don't have to go out and buy a smartphone or nothing, for 10 bucks, it's well worth it. Do me a favor. Click on the channel logo to subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching.